Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Okay, uh, this morning I okay, I actually got a request. Somebody said that I should do a video showing um, how to get what it looks like from uh, Kuwa Express to the city. So I decided to do from uh, what's it called Ring Road One uh, all the way to Upper Roundabout. So anyway, I just want to show you guys uh, what it is this morning. All right, here we go so that you guys can see. All right. Okay, I'm actually on uh, Kuba Express now, um, driving towards um, the Ring Road one. That's the road that some people call Bega Road. Um, here's the thing: I actually did voice it this video, but I, when I came to it, the editing, I discovered that the audio was gone. I didn't know what happened. I still don't know what happened. Um, I guess maybe I didn't plug the mic well or something. But anyway, so I decided uh, why not do a voiceover so I can show, can still talk about the things that I saw and uh, how uh, the road is. Okay, uh, we're just getting on Ring Road 1 now. Uh, so we're just going to keep driving. Though I know it's drizzling, the, the weather is not too uh, clear, so I'm sure you guys are not seeing properly. But it's fine though, I think it's fine. So let's just go. Okay, um, as we drive along here, uh, to my left hand side is uh, Meitama. Minister's Hill, as a matter of fact, that's what you find on the left hand side as we enter Ring Road 1. Uh, I know Ring Road 1 actually has a name. I'll put the name here so that <laughs> you guys can get the name. I know there's Ring Road 1, Ring Road 2, even 3 and 4, but uh, the Ring Road 1, okay. On what you're seeing to my right now is a, is a place being built by a company called Cosgrove. Um, the building the property like an estate in that place okay let me get back to the talk okay to my left is uh, the popular metama minister's hill we're just driving past it now there is a footbridge in front of us um, that people can use to get across the highway okay and uh, this junction here we just saw it's uh, called the uh, uh, Nikon junction and to my right I just showed you the bit that place is called Gishiri I think I know this uh, video is slightly different from uh, the way I, my videos are. Normally, I explain every single thing as much as I can as we drive along. Um, but here, because uh, I actually lost the audio, a lot of things I've said that, oh, look at that structure on the hill. That's a beautiful structure. Okay, we are approaching 
what's it called? There's a Barnet Junction that is to my left here. This road leads you to Wuse Two, and uh, and to my right, to my right takes you to Mabushi. So to the right side of it uh, is the road that takes you all the way. If you go in, it takes you all the way to Guarimpa. And all this way to my right is actually uh, Utaku because you, after Mabushi, you hit Utaku and uh, you you get all the way to uh, Bega Roundabout, somewhere in front of us. And uh, to my left is actually Wuse 2. That's what it is. You can take this bridge, to, this bridge you're seeing in front of us, to the left will take you to Wuse 2. While well, as we pass the bridge right now, when I hit entering uh, Utaku, actually before now it was actually uh, Mabushi. I missed it. That was Mabushi. We're just getting to Utaku now. We're just getting to Utaku now, and um, there's a bigger roundabout. Is actually at the bottom where we going on top. This is where we're gonna go on top of the bridge because if you're going to Bega Roundabout, you go right where these cars are going. You go to the service lane, that takes you to the bottom where uh, there's a roundabout. So all these buildings you're seeing now are all in Otaku. There's a mox that has been constructed here or renovated. They've been doing it for quite a while. It's a beautiful minaret you've seen, guys. There. So we're actually going on top of the bridge now. And uh, on top of the bridge, we're going to keep going. That will take us to... Uh, we're heading to Ezapo. That's our final destination, Apo Roundabout. But uh, after, now, we just got into uh, exactly... That's bigger Roundabout underneath us right now. But we're on top of the bridge that takes us away so that we don't have to get into that traffic. And... Um, To the left at the beggar roundabout is supposed to take you to zone six, zone five, and all those stuff. That's uh, uh, we we'll say, uh, but uh, as we pass, as we're just passing this place now, what's in front of us is the next place, which is um, uh, we we is the next stop we're gonna get to. Recently, I did a video about Uye. You guys can check that out. So, this is the road to my right that takes you to Uye. And to the left hand, this that I didn't show exactly, that one takes you to uh, uh, Navdak office where they have VIO office on that side, zone 7. Okay, there's also a footbridge in front of us here that, to get people across from one side to the other. Right, under this bridge you're seeing is where the Abuja light train passes. It passes to there's a station to my left that takes you into the central business district. There's a station to my left, and to my right on this side is the popular uh, children playground uh, amusement park. Uh, I've forgotten the exact name, but it's an amusement park. You guys could see the wheel, and also just on the after this bridge to my left. Okay, to my right, right now, is the stadium. This is the dome. Uh, that's where, that is uh, the place where they house all the indoor games. And uh, to my left, you're not seeing because of the trees, that's where the uh, uh, National Hospital is. Yes, that's where the National Hospital is. That's where you're seeing. These are some of the, I think, staff quarters or something. But that's the National uh, Hospital in, on the left-hand side. Alright, we're 
we're just approaching the stadium roundabout as i call as as most people call it and uh, there are a lot of cars here because the vio people are checking for people's particulars so there's a bit of traffic you can see them on the right hand you can see them in their uniform Okay, we just approached the um, stadium roundabout, as I normally call it. And to my right, if you go to, if you take the first ex exit here, it takes you all the way to um, Galadima roundabout, takes you to Gaines Village and all the stuff. So that goes to that side. And um, all the structure you're seeing right now in front of us uh, to the right is actually... Um, What's the name of that place? I think I've forgotten. I'll put the name of the area there so that you guys can see it. Okay. Um, so we we'll just keep driving. Okay. If you, this service lane that people are taking right now, if you take it, it's taking you to area one roundabout. But we're actually going on top because we're heading to a uh roundabout. So you see a lot of traffic there because of the roundabout underneath this bridge. Uh, that's why you have that. So to the left. If you go underneath, it takes you to area one. I did a video recently where I drove from Lukugoma all the way to area one post office. You guys can check that out too. So we're just right on top now of the bridge. We're getting, we're going off or we're coming down. And uh, just in front of us to the left is um, Area 3 Junction, that's what it's called. And to my right, is there's a road that takes you to the old Secretariat somewhere on the right hand side there we just passed that now and we're heading towards um, the legislative uh, they call it apple bridge that's what people call it but there's a new there's a new bridge being constructed somewhere you can just see the construction going up but um it's been there for a while now but they're working seriously because they've even cut off the service lane you can't go on that side right now okay we just see it apple bridge as it's being called because the legislative quarter is somewhere off if you go to the right and um, so by we're going straight up and to my left actually takes you to area 11 and all that stuff uh, all those places but we're going straight but we're heading towards uh, okay that's the legislative quarter some of the buildings in the legislative quarters that's what you're seeing right now and that beautiful hill nice and uh, to my left is Gerki? I see Gerki. I don't know what Gerki is called, but I just check it out. But it's Gerki, and uh, we're actually heading. And all the vast land you can see to my right is a cemetery, is a, a Muslim cemetery. After that, I think somewhere there is a Christian cemetery. They all combined somewhere. All right, we're just approaching. Uh, if you take, we're just approaching the uh, Apu roundabout. If you take the first exit here now you're heading towards apo itself but this is where i end this video i just want to show you what the drive is like starting all the way from kubo express and coming to um, apo roundabout i hope you guys enjoyed this video if this is the first time you're seeing my hairy face please subscribe to this channel it would be appreciated thank you for watching today's video i know the audio is overdone because it's done because the original audio i lost the original audio so anyway guys thank you for subscribing i hope you enjoyed this video see you guys in the very next one 
Tchau. Share, comment, send the next one.